What's up people? David from uh, DC Strength and Nutrition here in Cape Town. Um, I debated for a while as to whether I was going to put this video out. I didn't want it to, to come across as a, a, a poor me video or one of these kind of things that uh, you see people putting on the likes of Facebook. Oh no, I can't believe this has happened again. Yeah, and then, you know, attention seeking kind of shit. Um, but, you know, social media is used a lot uh, and there's a lot of false crap out there, a lot of BS crap, you know, fake wealth, fake friends, all that kind of shit. Uh, I try not to do anything like that. Um, most people know I'm an honest and straight up guy uh, and I tell it as it is. People see my story, they know my story, they know my ups and downs and that kind of thing. I'm not a big fan of social media in the most part, but for business and trying to get content and my message across, it's great. And you know, a lot of the messages I put out are uh, positive messages, uh, a few rants here and there, and then um, uh, a lot of successes, both personal and professional, which are great. I, I do have a lot of successes, and that's down to the, the work I put in. Um, but it's it's also important for people to know, and yesterday was one of these days that, uh, and especially for my clients and other clients of other coaches, know that you know, us coaches, we fuck up too. Uh, and yesterday, I had a fuck up of a day. Um, for those who don't know, I'm less than seven weeks out now from my first bodybuilding competition, um, 12th of August, IFBB uh, Classic Physique Division. Um, and everyone keeps asking me how the prep's going, and uh, am I struggling? And my honest answer is no, I'm not struggling. My calories are lower than I'd like, definitely, so I'm a bit hungry, but that's not a problem. My training, um, I'm a little bit bored with my training right now, and I've asked my coach if we can change that up. Um, but other than that, I'm still getting stronger, I'm still making progress. Um, so my prep is great. In fact, I've actually found bodybuilding and the prep easier than powerlifting, which most people would assume is the other way around. But so far, I've found it very easy. Um, but yesterday was one of those days where um, I've analysed it myself. I know where I've gone wrong, but I fucked up yesterday. Um, I went into a mode that I haven't seen from myself in a long, long time. You know, a good, uh, probably a good four or five years, if I'm honest. Um, where I went back into an old mode of uh, eating crap for no apparent reason. Um, and like I said, I've analysed what happened yesterday and you know for, for those who want to know I had about 13 donuts yesterday some were filled with jam some just cinnamon and sugar some filled with custard uh, some with glazing uh, glazing icing on there and that not and they were fucking amazing uh, but it was also fucking stupid um, when I look back there was no reason for it uh, works good home life's good training's good uh, you know, it was, it was just a fuck up of a day. You know, I compounded that by then trying to mitigate the damages by just having um, vegetables and protein for dinner. Good in theory, until you're still in that mode like I was where, okay, I need volume to kind of, uh, to keep me full so I don't think about other food. And I had about 700 grams of meat and about one and a half kilos of veggies. And I ended up spending the rest of the night on the couch uh, in somewhat discomfort from stuffing myself full of fucking food. Uh, and then to top that off, because I was uh, aching and my belly was sore and that, uh, I then went back to comfort eating and had about uh, 10 to 15 lean chocolate balls. Um, so, yeah, a well and truly awesome day. And then further compounded by shit sleep because my stomach was angry with me all night. Um, and I'm sure my wife was fucking angry because I was farting up a storm all night as well. Uh, and so I didn't really get any sleep and today my digestive system is a complete wreck. Um, but, and this is why it's important for, for clients to realise this, that was yesterday, this is today. How you choose to react to certain things will dictate whether a situation is good or bad. Yesterday was a bad day, today I choose to determine how that, this day is going to be. I woke up in a foul fucking mood, 
came into work and I was definitely grumpy when I got here, although 6am clients are normally used to that, but this was for a different reason. But I chose to come into work, I chose to be nice to my clients rather than being a dick, and it's been a good day. Uh, I've planned my food for the day, so I'm on track, and any potential damage caused by yesterday will take a couple of days to unwind, I'm sure, but has been largely nullified by the fact that I've got back on track today. I haven't left it, you know, two, three days. I haven't gone on a, another binge eating spree today. Old David might have done, but like I say, I've, I know what went wrong. I know how to change it. I know how to rectify things. And I know that, like I say, I determine whether something is good or bad. Okay. And I determine that today is going to be good. And it's my mindset around, you know, these decisions that make it that way. And this is where clients and coaching comes in, uh, with the likes of myself at DCSN uh, and with Jared and Julia, with my other coaches. It's how we coach our clients through this to learn to understand that these things happen, and how to better identify these kind of triggers to minimise damage in the future, or to even potentially recognise them early enough that they can put processes processes in place to stop that from happening um, altogether and 99 times out of 100 I manage that myself very well um, and many of my clients also now know how to manage that very well from potentially being at a, a complete wreck uh, of managing these kind of processes at the start of coaching so but yeah it's important for my clients to know that I also fail and I also fuck up and that yesterday was one of those days um, but today, like I say, back on track. My prep is back on track. Training will happen later as per normal. My food is back on track today. And I'm not trying to eat less today to try and offset anything from yesterday. Um, I know some people look at that approach, uh, but I, I, I try myself to just, like I say, back to how I should be today. And that's back in routine, not trying to change anything and know that it'll all sort itself out over the next couple of days. Um, but, but yeah, so there's my failure for you. Um, less than seven weeks to go. I can't afford any more failures like this. Um, but I'm pretty confident that I know where I'm going. I know what I'm doing and that, uh, you'll see me on stage well out of my comfort zone. Uh, people keep saying, oh yeah, do bodybuilding, you know, push yourself out of your comfort zone. Bodybuilding's been easy so far. Prep's been easy. Out of my comfort zone is doing fucking VEAT on my legs and trying to sort that hairy mess out. Tanning, fucking trunks, Jesus Christ. That's out of my comfort zone. That's the only part I'm struggling with. Even the posing is manageable, but the fucking VEAT, Jesus Christ. You get that shit on your nipples. Uh-uh. Uh, I know my posing coach will really tell me to avoid that. Yeah, I, I fucked up there as well. Not quite as big a failure as yesterday was, but yeah, there's still there's still a little bit tender today, mate. Um, but yeah, so less than seven weeks to go. No more fuck ups. Back on track. Don't beat yourself up over it. Deal with it. Move on. Back in the game. Okay. Cheers, people. Have a good day. Take care.